Um, my first approach to the piano was at home because uh, I was lucky enough to have uh, parents who believed in the importance of art. And I, that's how I grew up. My sister also played the piano and my father used to play the piano. My mother sang beautifully. Um, so I grew up in an, in an ambience that art and music was part of my everyday life. And I think that's incredibly important for every kid. This, this is an opportunity that every kid should have to explore and to live um, art in general, to, to know more about yourself. This is what art gives you, the possibility to explore the depths of your own feelings. If you look enough around you, you find that everything can inspire you. Even, even the things that you don't like can inspire you in the opposite way. So you know what you don't like, so you know what you like. Uh, so I think everything can inspire you. Um, uh, life is interesting. Um, human feelings are endlessness. And um, art gives you the opportunity to be whoever you want to be. So art inspires me and nature inspires me a lot. When I play, I become, I try to become the character that I think the composer was thinking of. So it's a chance that you have to be someone else that you, don't, you never knew you could be or leave other uh, feelings that you never thought you would. Well, it's hard to choose one, but Beethoven for sure I would like to meet and I would love to ask him another concerto. Um, he might not have been maybe very friendly, but uh, I think he was a wonderful character full of energy and life and uh, he was a, a hero. He knew how to fight against difficulties. So I love that character a lot. And I would have loved to listen how Chopin played the piano because that's a mystery, nobody knows, and everyone th believes they know, they know how <laughs> Chopin used to play, but we don't. And I think, I think he was an incredible innovator, and uh, when he played, he created a, a universe in itself. So I, I was very curious to, to know how he played, actually. Of course, I'm, I'm full of those difficult passages that I have to overcome. And, uh, well, lots of work, and not only work, but know how to work. That's the most important thing, because you can spend hours working in the wrong way and nothing comes out. So how to be effective? This is something that you learn uh, in time. Um, so have your mind clear, know the objective and think musically what you want to achieve, not mechanically. So that's always something that we shouldn't forget. These two concerti um, bring, me, bring me to uh, a space where I can explore two different sides of what I love very much about in life, which is poetry and painting. I think Schumann was a poet and Mendelssohn was a painter. And they both have this kind of approach towards uh, their compositions. Uh, a poet is someone who is always seeking inside of himself, and Schumann does that a lot. Even though this uh, concerto w might have been thought uh, as, a con as a piece to show off because uh, he never composed for the piano and orchestra, someone suggested that he should compose uh, something for piano and orchestra. So maybe the objective was to arrive to the big public. But he couldn't, he couldn't somehow help his own nature. Uh, so he uh, he somehow uh, came back to him, to himself inside, uh, the inner, inner soul that he always was king of, of exploring. And so this is what the poet does. He dreams uh, at a perfect world, an ideal world that doesn't exist and he cannot reach. Um, and this is something that attracts me about Schumann a lot. And he's not afraid of showing fragility. 
and show, showing weaknesses, which is something not very popular in the modern world we live. Um, but uh, I think quite important as, as, a, as a lesson to learn from Schumann, not to be afraid of showing your own, own weaknesses. And Mendelssohn uh, has another approach, I think a bit more of an observer. He's always elegant, he's always the chevalier in his horse with, uh, with elegancy and noblesse. Uh, and this is something that, um, yeah, I can see all over Mendelssohn's um, music. And he was a marvelous painter himself, marvelous. And I think he had a kind of approach, this kind of approach to composing. So he described scenes or landscapes. Uh, and, and in this particular piece, he wants everyone to be smiling in a way. And I, I, I love playing this piece. It's a, really a celebration of life. <laughs>